Hello, I was requested to show how to properly emulate Metal Gear Solid 4 on PC using RPCS3. The problem is that uh, many people are facing a confusion regarding how to actually get it to run and get it to be fully playable. Many people see people playing Metal Gear Solid 4, but can understand why are they able to like get it running. And the problem is that the official RPCS3 version doesn't really support Metal Gear Solid 4. For that, we'll need to use a custom build of Metal, uh, of a, a custom build of RPCS3, made specifically for Metal Gear Solid 4. It is a modded version, and it should get you through the entire game. So first of all, we go to the site, this link, and we download it by clicking this link in front of the binaries. Now, over here, it's downloaded. We have the zip file for this custom version of RPCS3 set. You go to Google and you Google search PlayStation 3 firmware. And if you've used RPCS3 or you know that you need to download this PS3 firmware and put it inside of the emulator. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do it. Just be sure to Google search PS3 firmware and click the, the first link. And it should be the official PlayStation link for downloading the PS3 firmware. So what you do is you extract this version of RPCS3 that we just downloaded. And when you extract it, it should be like this, of course, just like the official version of RPCS3. This is very similar to the official version of RPCS3. You don't really need to do anything aside from the basic initial setup. So what you do is you open it, you uh, load up Metal Gear Solid 4 inside of it by going into Add Games. Now, to install the firmware that we just downloaded, or that you, you hopefully just downloaded, you click Install Firmware, and you install the PS3 firmware. It should be placed in whichever folder that you've placed it. I personally placed the, metal, uh, the PS3 firmware in my PS3 folder. So uh, you should just click this and install it. I already have it installed. I already have everything ready. And yeah, that's about it. That's all you need to do to play Metal Gear Solid 4. For safe measure, though, we're going to right click and click on change custom configuration. We're not going to change anything. Here I'm just showing you what the settings should be for this game. Hopefully these are all set by default, but if not, please look at my settings and copy them and use the, the exact same settings that I'm using. CPU should be this. GPU should be this. The render must be Vulkan. You can set the resolution scale to your own desire. I'm using 1440p because that's my monitor. Here's the audio. IO system. The network. Advanced. Here, everything should be the same. The same values set over here should be the same values you have. If not, set them. Relax the Z call sync should be enabled. Load libv2.sprx should be enabled. And that is about it. You just save and close. Now, another thing for safe measure, which I always do is I right click and I click boost with uh, boot with custom configuration. You can just double tap and launch the game. It should do the same thing. But for safety, I just click on boot with custom configuration. And the game should run now. And here I'll show you how the game actually plays. Note that uh, this custom build of RPCS3 is obviously using an older version, but it gets the job done. Uh, I mean, at least you can finally play this game. And unfortunately, I can't use full screen mode because then the recording stops. Uh, let's just start the game. I would do anything to be able to play Metal Gear Solid 4 like, natively on PC or even on PS5. I really hope that they remaster or report this game at some point because it is a damn shame that this game is stuck on PC. Follow so Naomi's yeah, trail and runs. find out where they took her. Uh, Watch out, though. You might run into a few holdups along You'll the way. Get solid 60 FPS. Though, uh, do expect the frame rate to be between 45 to 
50 FPS in most scenarios. In high density areas like the uh, Middle Eastern city, beginning of the game, Snake. you are the most trail likely going to get into multiple directions. 35 to 45 Look closely FPS. at the foot. Either way, the performance that you're going to be getting will still be totally playable, above the playable baseline, and in fact, better than the PlayStation. Because Looks like I know what it's like here. playing this game on the PS3. Uh, the game would dip to around 25 to 29 frames. <laughs> Per second, not because of all here we're getting 60 in less dense areas, 40 to 55 in average levels, and worst case scenario, 35 to 45 in cool. super dense. <laughs> yeah, the game is totally playable. You may face a few crashes here and there, no problem, you can just reload the game and the game saves automatically, of course. So, yeah, Who's that? I hope you enjoy playing this game. Peace out.